Hi friends, how often have you found well-meaning people attempting to discourage women preachers as we are preaching the good news of God? A plan of Satan is to get us to stop telling others about God and fulfilling the Great Commission, which God has ordained for them that believe. So it's true, the devil sure doesn't want us to go out into all the world and preach the good news and to cast out demons. But the word says in Mark 16, uh, the believers will do it. So that's what I am. So every time someone sends a discouraging email, which is really from some, you know, who are prideful or jealous of the anointing, we just really praise God and give him thanks for his goodness. So his love and really how many people he is delivering and healing through this ministry in his name. You know, John 15 verse 18 tells us that if the world uh, hated you, remember it hated Christ first. And the truth is persecution is going to come because of the word. Hallelujah. So people who attempt to bring down women preachers all the time have absolutely no heart for God or his purposes and what he is doing uh, through obedient hearts. So Galatians 3.28 tells us that there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor there is male or female, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. Yes, friends, let's get that deep down within our hearts. It doesn't get more simpler than that, friends. Anyone who attempts to discourage women from their calling brings themselves into judgment with God. So some are using the word as a weapon uh, to bring women down and it's really just manipulation and pure witchcraft and truly in my heart I do feel sorry for them because God says that we are not to touch his anointed and over my decades of ministry I have seen, believe me friends, what has happened to some that have come against what God is doing in this ministry uh, without saying much at all. So I want to ask people to rather take this matter of women in ministry to the Lord in prayer than to send us ungodly emails that attempt to bring about discouragement or hurt because it's not going to work with me. Nope. In fact, it motivates me to get out there and pray for more people. I've gone too far in the Lord to have any doubt about my calling. So I consider it pure joy when these emails just come in. You know, what the devil meant for harm, God has meant it for good. We, <laughs> we must just draw closer and closer to him and never give up because Jesus is delivering so many people through obedient men and women hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah so you know god does not favor a gender above another so he even said that he's not a respecter of persons so the scripture in 1 timothy 2 verses 12 it goes on to speak about ladies who are noisy they were disruptive and it's understandable that those ladies were told not to speak yes so they were uneducated and they absolutely needed to keep quiet for sure and i have personally seen this in our congregations at times so yes paul was addressing a problem and we have to address this as well at times so disruption in the church is a distraction and god will not have it so the word must be preached hallelujah yes so when paul uh, spoke about the gifts of the spirit he did not designate any to be restricted to men never so the gifts of teaching administration and leadership are given to women as well as to men so when the holy spirit filled the disciples on the day of pentecost men and women were given the gift of prophecy or teaching speaking gifts of healing and so we know at that time most of the leaders of Israel uh, were men 
but the Bible never says that Deborah was an exception to the rule. So it just says that God worked through her. Hallelujah. And that is what he is doing through us as women. Hallelujah. So God places both men and women in positions of authority in the church. And many are prideful and attempt to discourage women from doing ministry. And how sad is that, friends? That must be for those who use the word as a, as a weapon ready to destroy. God is delivering so many people in this ministry testimonies are coming in and God gets all the glory and it's the great commission for them that believe so not them that are jealous prideful and manipulative many women are breadwinners today but friends when we look at the tone of some of the emails that come into our offices you know it just shows that you know that those who are against the word are not sent of God neither do they have a heart to see people be delivered and set free but they're rather only on a mission to destroy and condemn women preachers so God is the judge God anoints the humble the devil anoints the prideful and that comes before a fall and we've seen that so friends so women do not be discouraged. God used the donkey. He used fish. He used trees, rocks, hail, you name it. But some, you know, say that he won't use a woman. And it's really utter nonsense. The devil was a loser from the start. And he goes and twists scripture and uses it as a tool to silence women. But don't let him know God's purposes and be obedient to what he has called every believer in Christ to do. My husband and I both work together in the ministry in the way that God has called us and it works well. So none is considered above or below for we are all one in Christ, fulfilling God's commands uh, to us. Friends, Matthew 5 verses 44 says, But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Rejoice, friends. Shout to the rock of your salvation, for the accuser of the brethren is thrown down. Hallelujah. Um, and they accuse, they accuse them before our God day and night. So, friends, just rejoice. Be thankful. Don't bury your talents. I encourage more women and men to step out. Time is short. Jesus is coming. The gospel must be preached throughout all the world. So just show the love of Jesus. And remember, Jesus always wins. So take up the Great Commission, and that is directed to all obedient believers in Christ. Go into all the world, preach the good news, cast out devils, lay hands on the sick, and hallelujah, bring many souls into the kingdom of God. Satan is defeated, friends. He is under our feet. Don't listen to the naysayers. Listen to God. Be obedient to what he has called you to do. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching this video. I want to encourage you to donate monthly to our ministry by hitting the join button on this channel. Included is access to the healing school and deliverance teachings, the CDs and so much more to come. See our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za for more details about attending our services. Sign up to our newsletter for updates become a monthly giver or donate to our ministry via PayPal, Western Union or direct deposit. Our email address is info at christhealingcenter.co.za and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with others. God bless you.